I forget what round this is. We're on some round number. I need to see who's in the DLC for this one. Uh, okay, Sonon is in the other one then. But uh, we're starting Sonon's route. I don't remember much of it. I think I remember how it ends, and I know which one we're following this time, but other than that, I have zero clue. Well, let's go, and we're still keeping Chizuru. Uh, this is a work of fiction, if you haven't tell seen. It's, it's words. We're skipping the prologue. And we're skipping a lot of things. <laughs> We're speed running through these routes because a lot is the same. If you haven't been here before. <sighs> we are skipping. It would give me the options. Oh no, did I press the pro- yes to the prologue? Whoops. Uh... Skipping, skipping. I didn't mean to press the prologue, but we're here now. This prologue has a mistake in it. Hey, Jakarta. <laughs> this is stupidly fun just to hear the lines and then just get cut short. Did I explain what that scene is? That part is uh when they realize ah uh, shit she's a girl. All right. Strangely, it is kind of starting off almost exactly the same as Hijikata. So let's get through this! I am pressing the button. If I could tap faster, I would. I'm tapping as fast as I can! I'm surprised we only finished one of the Baka Trio so far. You know what? I have tea I'm gonna drink. It's six minutes of pure skipping. Oh, four minutes actually. The intro took two. Tea. We'll get to Heisuke. God, I I feel like Heisuke's story is going to leave me in shambles and I don't know why, but we'll get to it. I was truly at a loss of words for what to do, but uh, we're going to find a way to escape. All right. And we run into Kondo-san. And what are we going to do? We're going to run for it. I had no choice but to run. 
If I was going to die anyway, then I had nothing to lose by trying to escape. Now we've seen this before. Hijikata is going to pick up, pick us up at the collar of our uh, kimono like a cat. <laughs> He snatched me from the floor in one smooth motion with cat like grace. Yep. <laughs> they found out. Alright, so now we can just skip. Because the next one is in our room. <laughs> Also, so Sano suggesting that we strip is just Sano. Skip. February. All right. We're to thinking back. We stay put. And I think this is also the scene. Yeah. Wakanda san brings us tea and konpeto. Hijikata? Caring? Wow, I had no idea. A lot of this is the same. Uh, I didn't see something. Is this the same as Hijikata? Oi. Half of it is. We're doing a lot of nothing, is the, th is the thing. Wow, this first chapter really has nothing. Because Sanan is not here! <laughs> The encounter with Takeda, who we still won't know, but we will know next route. Because next route is Iba. Uh, quietly return to my room. I think Ah, this is the yeah. 
So we stay behind in the headquarters. Is this the same as Cosma? Because then I know we do nothing. It is. It's the exact same choice. My god, we do nothing and Okita is still being Okita. We might get a scene. Let's see. Or is that the end of it? Or within 30 minutes, we just go to chapter 2. <laughs> ah, I see. No news of my father came forth the other day, and some and somber restlessness took hold of me. Originally, it seemed Hijikata son granted me approval to accompany the captives on their rounds through Kyoto to sh search for my dad. Then he called me in, and this is where we don't get to go anymore. We're stopping the search because things have gotten very serious. We're uh, remaining in the compound. After contemplating, I decided to stay in. I couldn't convince myself that I wouldn't be a burden to them during dangerous situations. <sighs> Still. Hmm. It was disheartening to think about. Huh. Another dull day is spent inside. Throughout the past six months, I was allowed to finally search for my father on the rounds, and I felt like a part of the house by contributing. Even though sometimes I was occupied with cleaning or cooking, it seemed like I was serving my part of the Shinsengumi in a meaningful way. I spent most of my time with the captains, but there were many opportunities to chat with the warriors and come to know them as real people. Maybe they were starting to think of me as a warrior in training rather than Hijikata-san's page. These worrying thoughts made me so anxious I was turning numb. The idea that I had become so dependent on the Shinsengumi at this moment. What should I do today? Well, I know what we're gonna do. We're gonna open the door and uh, go to the courtyard. I remember now. Damn it. Alas, no winds blew through the courtyard today. No reprieve from the harsh sun beating down on this dry emptiness. I had a feeling it was going to be a bad day. Shade was the best I could hope for, it seemed. I sighed, sitting in whatever shade I could find. Something occurred to me as the sun rose to kill. Oh, right. My father's been here, hasn't he? They mentioned it, but they hadn't told me why. Was he tending to the injured, or perhaps educating the Shinsengumi on how to avoid illness? Maybe he'd intended to stay here long term. My father never mentioned to have been with the Shinsengumi. He'd visited only a few times, or so I've been told. If he'd really been their doctor, then he would have w visited far more often, which left me with the question, why? It was extremely clear to me that the Shinsengumi had plenty of secrets, but I grew suspicious that those secrets deeply implicated my father as well. No, that can't be right, can it? I shook my head again, trying my best to dispel the dark thoughts taking shape. Uh, I spun around to find that San Hansan had walked behind me. Utterly detected, detect, de uh, uh, utterly undetected and unannounced. Man, he was doing that before he. I mean, yeah. No! San Hansan! 
Is that right for you to be walking around? There was a hint of coldness to his words. Uh, I couldn't bear to look at the sad, twisted smile he gave me. His arm hadn't healed, and it seemed certain now that it never would. The rest of the captain seemed sure that he would never be able to use his arm as he'd done before. Ah, oh, I know. I'm sorry. They'd usually let me walk around as I please, so long as I didn't go into anyone's room. But I knew that technically I was confined to my room. Any freedom given to me was simply a courtesy. In other words, San and Sun was right. If he decided to chastise me for being in the courtyard, I had no reasonable response. There were some things I wanted to think about. I hope the cut I hope the courtyard I hope the courtyard would be breezy. The moment the words were out of my mouth, I realized it sounded far more like childish excuses than a valid explanation. I'm sorry. Still, I was beginning to grow accustomed to the subtle cruelty that seemed to accompany each word from San and Sun's mouth. <sighs> Alright, I'm going back to my room then. I turned and began to walk away. Sun and Sun's unpleasantness had started after he was wounded during his trip to Osaka. He spent most of his time locked in his room now, and he was quick to lash out on others in response. I knew the loss of his arm hurt him, more than I could understand, but I wish he could go back to being the warm, kind man he was originally. Ah. I turned around to see him still standing there. It's really hot out today. You should try and stay out of the sun. Please, take care of yourself. I gave him a nervous little laugh, and he responded with a chuckle of his own. His smile didn't look forced. Hey. The son and son I'd first met was still there. I did. <laughs> I'll complain about this in the video, God. I remember it. I didn't write this down. Oh, wait. I need a pen. I'm gonna write this down. You know what? I'm gonna write it down. I got a pen right here. It's... It has multiple colors on it. Uh... All right, I wrote, I wrote my thoughts down before I lose it again because I didn't write it down before. My spirits lifted and I ran back to my room. It was later that evening that the compound exploded with activity. I was walking down the hall when I heard footsteps and turned to see Nagakura coming towards me. Uh, Nagakura? What's that for? He glanced down almost absently at his hands, holding a candle and an exceptionally long needle. You can guess what that's for. Use your imagination! I don't understand. 
I won't think about it then. I gave another- he gave another bark of laughter, turned his back on me, and walked off. As the sun began to set, the activity in the compound reached a fever pitch. It was so busy that it couldn't even help with making dinner. The commotion was overwhelming. Heske! He shot past my door, when, then wheeled back around. What happened? All the men are running around. Any word from that Shoshu prisoner? あいつがようやく口を割ってさ。今夜聴衆のやつらが会合するらしいんだ。で、俺らは打ち入り準備中ってわけ。ああ。Hesuke oh. went on to explain that the Shinsengumi would be splitting into two groups and searching locations at opposite ends of the city. Kondo-san would take 10 men to the Ikidai Inn, and Hejikata-san would take 24 to the Shikoku Inn. They'd send more men with Hijikata-san because they thought he'd be seeing action. Kondo-san and his men were to make sure they covered all their bases. You mean there aren't even 40 men ready? I known that the heat in close quarters made some men sick, but I hadn't known it was so many. Hesuke sighed. Sounds like you've got your work cu work cut out for you. Unfortunately, there wasn't much I could offer f f him apart from sympathy. I had a feeling it was going to be a difficult night. After all the men capable of fighting had left for their respective assignments, San and San called for me. San and San's passive aggressive attitude reared its head. Mm. I hesitated a moment, then spoke. Does that mean you'll protect me? I wasn't sure why, but he laughed at that. Was I supposed to be happy? His smile was so sad, I wasn't sure what to say. It seemed to hurt him most when the other men were out fighting, and all he could do was wait. The silence between us stretched out until the door to our room suddenly opened without a sound. The Ikeda-in? His tone was light, but his face was serious, and with good reason. They'd been certain Shikoku was the right location, and had sent only half as many men to Ikeda. The man whom he called Yamazaki nodded curtly. He is a Shinsengumi officer and spy, as well as a member of the Watch. Despite not living in the Yagi residence, he is aware of my situation. Wait! Yamazaki seemed just as surprised. I paused before thinking about what's next. I'll go. I'll go. 
Please let me help you guys. If I really could help, then I wanted to. I lived with these men for almost half a year. They'd fed me, given me a roof over my head, and helped me look for my father. Yamazaki's cold eyes slid over to me for a moment as he spoke. Sanasan finished with a soft smile I hadn't seen him use for week, weeks. What? It sounded as if they were suggesting if things went badly, Yamazaki would sacrifice himself. Sanam, didn't you just said we had the worst way with luck? Not a few minutes earlier. That would have Yamazaki running all across Kyo. I suppose it really drove home just how thin the Shinsengumi was stretched. And there's no other person that could do this job? Uh, what about Shimada? Shimada is another Shinsengumi spy. He was trusted enough with knowledge of my situation. Sanasan shook his head. The Shinsengumi need every single member they can get, and Shimada was with the Shikoku team. Which means that apart from Yamazaki, I was the only one that could possibly serve as a messenger at the moment. If I tried to run away while we were out, I had no doubt that he would kill me without hesitation. This mission is high priority. Not my- it's his priority, not my life. Even so... I'll go. I can't take care of myself. You don't need to worry about me. Sanasan gave me a small smile. I knew he wanted to join the battle more than anyone, but we both knew that was impossible. At least I could do the least I could do was carry out my mission. He bowed then as he stepped out of the room and turned to me. I took off after him, my legs working as hard as they could. Into the dark street we ran. I discovered quickly that half a year indoors did little for my physique, and I was out of shape. After only a few blocks, I was gasping for breath. <sighs> Yamazaki, who was running ahead of me, suddenly stopped and looked sharply behind us. Don't tell me someone's behind us. Seems like Yamazaki's hunch was right. What should I tell Yamazaki? Yamazaki, you should go. I'll stay behind. Yamazaki, you sh please should. Bleh. Yamazaki, please, you should go. If I distract the enemies, then you could go in the meantime. 
ける役ならば俺がやる今走れ Yamazaki wasn't looking to take no for an answer, so I nodded in good faith. I looked to what lay ahead of for me. As I stepped into the next intersection, I saw a flash of metal from the corner of my eye. Right. I kept running. I pretended I didn't hear the sounds of swords ringing against one another behind me and ran. My knees felt weak and my legs shook, but I kept going. They'd have to collapse or tear themselves to pieces before I'd stop. Even so, I felt so slow. I wanted to cry out, to scream in my body, to go faster, faster! <laughs> A bright light suddenly cut through the darkness, and I placed my hand over my eyes from the glare. My heart stopped. Was it Joshua's soldiers? I froze. What are you doing, I very nearly began to cry with relief. Hijikata-san was not dressed in the usual light blue jacket, but rather a bright white uniform to be seen in dimly lit places. Instead, I simply collapsed as Harada reached out to grab me. I grabbed hold of Harada's hand and pulled my body to its feet. I wanted to tell him I had permission to leave and explained it was all right for me to be there, but I was so winded that I could barely speak. Besides, I wasn't sent to Hichikata to make excuses. I took as deep of a breath as my shuddered lungs could manage before speaking. They're, they're meeting at Ikida. Suddenly, Hichikata-san's expression changed. I nodded rapidly. Hijikata-san gestured towards me. Yamazaki! I finally got some of my breath back. And I did my best to tell them what had happened. I just shook my head. Hijikata-san thought for a moment, then spoke. Harada and Saito nodded curtly, then turned to their business. I still lacked the breath to respond properly, so I simply nodded. We both knew they couldn't leave me here, but whom should I accompany? It's Hijikata. The prospect of being alone with him was rather frightening, but for reasons I still didn't understand, I decided to go with Hijikata-san. We need water now. <laughs> Okay. We were so quiet for, for a while, I felt like I should say something, but I wasn't sure what. Instead, I kept quiet. After a moment, he glanced down at me. Then they go 
俺たちが先手を打てるのはお前の手柄だ。I never thought Hijikata san of all people would praise me for anything. My heart fluttered momentarily in my chest. But what did he mean by an advantage? If the battle at the Ikdain had begun, it didn't seem like we had much of an advantage at all. We stepped from the alley into the central avenue. Uh, Hijikata san, why are we out here on the street? <laughs> I blinked, not sure what to make of that. Yamazaki appeared beside us without making a sound. Boy, is sneaky as fuck. Yamazaki, you're safe! He didn't seem to have been hurt at all, thank goodness. Yamazaki's eyes slid to me for a moment, then back to Hichikata-san. Deep in his cold eyes, I saw a spark of anger. They appeared as the words came out of his mouth, lines of government soldiers marching towards us. There were hundreds of them marching across the entire width of the street, several rows deep. Now I understand why Hijikata-san took us out into the street. We would never have seen the government forces, government force as we shimmy through the back alleys. There was something about their march, so slow and unconcerned, that lit the fires of anger in my eyes. The rest of the men are still fighting at the inn. The Shinsengumi had a few soldiers able to fight, but they were risking their lives for Kyo. Didn't these men have the same responsibility? Why were they rushing to help us at the inn? Perhaps my anger was more obvious than I realized because Hijikata-san gave a snort of laughter. He stepped forward into the very middle of the street, directly in front of the advancing soldiers. All he did was move a few feet and turn to face them, but he held such authority in his movements. He could have easily been at the head of an army. Even I could see that the government men were going to protest Shikata son's proclamation when Yamazaki leaned over to whisper in my ear. What? How could they? After all the Shinsengumi had done, it just didn't seem fair. But, but it's the men of the Shinsengumi who are risking their lives. Yamazaki held Hijikata-san in such high regard. So when Hijikata-san said we have an advantage, this is what he was referring to. しかし我々にも勤めよう。小さい旅館に何十人も入るわけねえだろう。池田屋を取り囲むくらいが関の山だ。それとも 
乱戦に巻き込まれて死にてえと言うなら止めはしねえが我が身が可愛いならおとなしくしておくのだ<笑> Hiji caught the son's tone as much as his words left no room for argument Until the battle ended he stood his ground and not a single man challenged him <sighs> Finally, the sun rose from the back black sky. The raid itself had lasted only two hours. But for me, at least, it had felt far longer. There had been 20 Imperial Nationalists of the Ikadain. Hello? The Shinsengumi had killed seven Ronin and injured four more. I learned later that, with the help of the Aizu Domain and Kyo Judiciary Commissioner, they arrested 23 people. The owner of the Ikadain had also been arrested for trying to help the Choshu rebels escape. The Shinsengumi had won an incredible victory fighting against superior, superior numbers in enemy territory, but they paid dearly for it. Okita had taken a blow to the chest and lost consciousness. Heske had been cut on the forehead, and the bleeding refused to stop. I'm fine. I'm just reading along and also skipping because it's like. I lost count how many times we've been through this game. There's so many roots. Nagakura had injured his left hand. One of the Shinsengumi soldiers lost his life at the inn's rear entrance, and two others were severely injured there as well. Yep, I'm still playing it. It's also a game that comes after this that continues the story. And I'm doing this solely for the purpose of creating two videos with a lot of research behind it. So I have to go through everything that I can. It's fun because some of these I've completed and others I haven't. So I get to find out what happens. It didn't seem likely that they would survive. Yep, you too. I hope these videos pay off in some way. But、uh, there's still a lot of research to be done, including playing through the original、uh, version of the game, because this is a remake, technically speaking. The Kyo Military and Judiciary Commissioners also fought the Choshu Ronin. With a successful resolution of the Battle of Ikeda Inn, The Shinsengumi had, at last, made a name for themselves. It looked as though the peace in Kyo had been protected. Never could I have imagined that the ultimate result of their victory would be. I think we just reached the skipping part, hopefully. Yeah, we can skip this. Oh. <laughs> w e e time to press the skip button. Yep. Yep. This is when we meet Eba again. Eba is next. But right now we're doing Sanan. Hi. Thank you. Bye bye. I hope you come by again. Skippy, skippy. And we're still not done skipping. I think there's something else we need to do as well. This is August. I think we're on rounds with Harada. Right? Yep, yep, yep. We can skip this part. So <laughs> chop. Do, 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 do. We've been through this so many times. 
we uh we're still behind. A few days passed. Your medicine's ready. I was carrying medicine and some hot sh hot sake. I don't, I don't drink, so I don't know if hot alcohol is even tasty at all, or if it's just sake in general that can be drunk like that. I don't know. <laughs> I know nothing about liquor. The medicine was Ishida medicinal powder, which was manufactured by Hijikata-san's family. Sanan-san's eyebrows rose at the mention of his name. Sanan-san rolled his eyes, but reached over to take his portion of medicine and sake. He had been telling the truth, though. His injuries had healed, at least as much as they were going to, but his arm still refused to work properly. It was slowly becoming clear that it would probably never work properly again. Nagakura was injured at the Ikeda Inn, but he recently declared that he was completely healed, despite the fact his wounds still looked painful. This man is built like a fucking wall. I heard he had convinced Hijikata's son that his wounds weren't as bad as Okito Heske's. しかし、掃除と東道君が怪我をするとはね。あれは池田屋が暗かったから、普段の戦いなら遅れは取らないって。怖いから急に殴られたんだよ、狼八丈なんてもう立ったしさ。拳で八金を割るか。随分と豪気
でもせっかくの晴れ舞台だし He turned to Hijikata san, clearly hoping that the commander might give him special leave to go. Hiska's mouth snapped shut. I didn't think Hijikata san would actually stab one of his own men, but neither did I think he would go easy on any of them, even if they were injured. Okuta sighed and got up to leave. Um, I assume I'll be staying here as well? Kondo san nodded. And they're gonna be moping around. He let out a short laugh, and several men grinned. Before long, the Shinsengumi had left for the front, leaving only a handful of soldiers in the silent compound. So, what should I be doing when they're out? That's a question. Oh, right. Kondo had asked me to keep an eye on Okita and Heske. I think Okita was in the inner courtyard. To be honest, it was a little I was a little concerned for him. He was still recovering and being out in the cold air wasn't doing him any favors in that regard. Hmm. Still that left Heske and Sun on Sun. Maybe they're still in the common room. Heske seemed particularly frustrated at being forced to stay behind, and Sun and Sun had been even colder and more distant lately. I was worried for Okita, of course, but I felt there was something deeper affecting the other two. Where should I go? Well, we'll go into the common room. I heard Heske and someone else talking as I walked down the hall. They were in the common room then. Ah, <sighs> It sounded as if Sanan san was actually trying to cheer Heske up. How long had it been since I'd heard Sanan san say something nice to someone? He was a very kind man once upon a time. I missed that Sanan san. An awkward silence fell over the room. It would have been rude for me to speak up, having left the inn unarmed, unharmed on the, that fateful night. But if I pretended to enter for another matter, it would make it clear that I was eavesdropping. I had no choice then. I had to return to my room. As I turned to do so, Sun and Sun's voice stopped me cold. <laughs> Treatment? What did he mean by that? Medicine? But he was already talking he was already taking the Ishida powder. Unless he was talking about something else. 
本気でラーセツになるとか言ってんの Hesuke shouted at Sanan san. What was this conversation about? Something about this conversation seemed familiar. I heard them mention something about it around when I first arrived. Hmm. We were eating dinner together when we'd received the news of Sanan san's injury. They mentioned the serum then too. Are they talking about that? Okita and Saito had to kill them? That night was an experience I would never forget. But what did it have to do with this treatment? Father? Why did father have to what did father have to do with their treatment? This was a great deal of information to take in. My mind was a hurricane of thoughts, suspicions, and fears trickling through the corners of my mind. Even as I struggled to make sense of what I just heard, I knew that I had stumbled onto something dangerous, something I shouldn't know. Suddenly I wanted very much to be gone. Why did I stay and listen? I was such a fool. His cold, quiet voice filled the empty hall. <laughs> Maybe the words that came out of San San's mouth were directed strictly to Hesuke. Hesuke responded with a furrowed brow. I helplessly felt like those words were directed towards me. I scurried from the area as I grasped my fast beating heart. If what Son and Son had suggested really did happen, as suddenly as I could, I moved down the hall and away from the common room, back to the room I suddenly wished I'd never left. The Choshu extremist attempted attack on the imperial estate eventually came to be known as the Hamaguri Rebellion. Although the Shinsengumi were called to action, their efforts were st stimmied, and they found little in the way of glory. Communications with their superiors was poor at best, and they spent much of the battle waiting with the reserves. When the Shinsengumi finally entered the battle, each man Each man found themselves several stranger found several strange opponents waiting them. Shikage Kazuma, who defeated Okita Ikeda, claimed to be from the Satsuma domain during his encounter with Hichikata san. Kyuji Amagiri, the man who shattered Heisuke's head guard at Ikeda, also claimed membership in the Satsuma. They had also met Kyo Shiranui, who had fought alongside men from Choshu. Whoever they were, it was clear that they were not allies of the Shinsengumi. Indeed, it seemed they could easily become some of their greatest enemies. If they were to meet in open battle, the casualties would be severe. By the time the battle was over, the commanders of the Choshu attack had been killed in the fighting or took their own lives. There were some soldiers, however, who escaped, setting Kyo ablaze as they fled. By some terrible misfortune, winds that day blew from the north and fanned the flames, reducing the southern end of the imperialist state to ash. As a result of the Choshu attack, 
many Imperial Nationalists were were yawning. Many Imperial Nationalists were executed. With the Hamakura Rebellion over, the Choshu were branded as traitors for attacking the estate. From then on, they were acknowledged enemies of the court. September 1864. A close distance time between the battles of the Ikdean and the Imperial Palace created significant civil unrest within Kyo. The Shinsengumi redoubled their efforts to keep people safe, but the more they worked, the more the Shogun put them to work. Oh, I think I know what we're about to do. <laughs> Yeah, but we've seen this before. And we've had this before as well, so we're gonna skippy skip. I want to watch over everyone while you're gone. And, uh, Kondo san is gonna be into teacher mode! God, I wish we had more moments like this. I need to write that down. Hold on. Will I be able to read my handwriting? I don't know later. Dawn of the new year arrived. We're just gonna skip this. Hey, to. I wonder what route we. we... What route are we gonna learn about Miki? Hmm. Hmm. Sakamoto? Soma? It's not Iba. Heske? I don't. Maybe Heske. Ooh, maybe. Yeah, maybe Heske. We'll figure out about Miki later. Alright, we've got to make a choice of what we're gonna do. And we've seen this before. I, uh, investigate. We're investigating. I'm going to muster the courage to look into this. But where should I investigate? My room is in the Yagi house. There are some rooms that I'm not allowed to enter, but the captains live here as well. And I'd finally learned how to navigate the building. However, there are, was another building that was part of the headquarters for the Shinsengumi, aside from the Yagi house. Some of the leaders, along with other warriors, 
lived in the Mayakawa house, diagonal from Miyagi. And son and son who was injured, who was injured, had been holed up in the Nambu residence, located behind Yagi. Since it's a residence, one cannot just stroll there casually, and since it is rarely used by anyone other than son and son, it's a little isolated. Hmm. If there are secrets being kept from me, then they have to be kept in a place where I never think to check. If I were to look into it, it would rather it be either be in. It would either be in the, or the forgotten areas, of the Yagi resident. That sentence is missing with my brain. Which should I look into? The Yagi house, apparently. It was night at the Yagi house and dead silent. I tiptoed down the halls as quietly as possible. Huh? Were my ears playing tricks on me or did someone just walk into the common room? It would be I would be in trouble if someone saw me, so I did my best to blend into the shadows and hide. After a few moments of heart pounding and seclusions, my curiosity got the best of me. I departed my hiding place and, cr and crept towards the common room. I peered inside. Inside was Sun and Sun. I wonder why. Something felt wrong. I just stood there. What is Sun and Sun doing here late at night? I was at a loss. Should I speak to him or... Before I could make my mind up, he turned. Sanan-san -san gazed directly at me and muttered, Yukimura-kun, you are here, right? Come on. I guess he spotted me. I gave up and made myself visible to Sun and Sun. I'm sorry if it seemed like I was snooping or watching what you were doing. It was very subtle, but I noticed something was off in San An Sun's attitude. He had a peaceful smile, something I hadn't seen for what felt like ages. It was a bit too peaceful, as if his worries had suddenly left him. It was an expression I have never seen since he'd gotten injured. Um, San An Sun, did something good happen? Something switched in his hands. Sanan san, what is that? After his cryptic reply, he showed me what was in his hand. Sanan san was holding a small bottle made from fine hydro. The glass was filled with a crimson liquid that looked like a po poisonous chemical to me. <sighs> Water break. What? The Shogun had ordered my father to do something? 
もともと西洋から渡来したものだそうですよ人体に劇的な変化をもたらす飛躍としてね What do you mean by utterly transform? 単純な表現をすると筋力や自己治癒力の増強でしょうか It sounded like something out of a fairy tale. If such a thing were to truly exist, the serum would be considered a miracle cure, cure but. His smile twisted only a little. <laughs> of course, I'd seen the results of that madness the night I first met the Shinsungumi. Okita and Saitasun had killed off that monster with the white hair. His words brought a sharp chill down my spine. How horrible. Kiriai no Sanaka, Chiga Nagaru Tabi Nikurteva, Kyojina Niktai will tell me that I mean you are not saying. No! My father conducting experiments on human beings that made them go mad at the sight of blood? I couldn't believe it. No, I didn't want to believe it. I mean, there was no reason for Son and Son to lie either. I saw it before my very eyes. And did father really? Sana san shrugged off my disbelief and continued. He smirked and shook the bottle gently. The liquid inside sloshed from side to side almost lazily. I had so many questions to ask him, but I didn't even know where to start, so I simply spoke the first thing that came to mind. If you drink that, will you be okay? So that serum, will it prevent you from going mad? His smile faded. You mean you're actually considering taking it? He had no guarantee that it wouldn't simply kill him outright, and even if he did survive, it might well drive him insane. Saran san, please reconsider this. I'm sure there's some other way. You don't need to rely on this. <laughs> Yozumi 
何の役にも立てぬままお情けで住職を与えられている私の気持ちなど How could you say it's pity? You're a leader here. The Shinsengumi respects and needs you now more than ever. Sanonson's eyes dotted with melancholy, flashing a brief smile that entertained the idea behind my words. Sanasan seemed bitterly focused on the words Shigata san said earlier. They really did affect him. Sanansan smiled as he said that, but there was no way to know what might happen to him. Considering the worst that could happen, I couldn't sit by and allow him to do that. I. You know. We persuade him. I still don't think you should take that serum. There's a higher chance that he'll fail, right? If the others knew what you were that you were here doing this, they would all try and stop you. I thought at first that he was beginning to reconsider. But my faint hope was shattered with words of resigna resignation. What? Those were his last words. He suddenly gulped down the red liquid stored in the bottle of fine red idro. No! The bottle slipped from Sanansan's hands and crashed into a thousand tiny bits on the floor. A scarlet drop oozed down from the corner of his lip. <laughs> Sanansan crumbled to the floor. Sanansan! I paused, uncertain. He groaned in agony and pulled his hand back to grip his chest over his heart. It's clear he was suffering. Hang in there! I'll go get someone right now! I took a step forward, about to place my hand gently on his back. <laughs> his right arm whipped out almost too fast to see and threw me across the room. I slammed into the wall and slid to the floor. I could barely breathe. <laughs> My vision went blurry for a moment. I coughed once and looked up. Just in time to see Sanansan -san land on top of me, his hands already reaching for my throat. His right arm reached for my throat, and he relentlessly started to choke me. The hands around my throat were Sun and Sons, but the man behind them was someone else. His silver white hair glistened in the dim light. His bride, maddling red eyes showing through his bangs, I knew those eyes. His eyes were the eyes of a predator, not a man. I saw eyes just like the night I arrived in Kyo. Those creatures in the alley, drenched in blood. Monsters. As he choked me, I desperately tried to keep breathing. No, 
This wasn't a monster. This was Sun and Sun. He was still the man I knew. Sun and Sun. Suddenly, the fingers around my neck loosened. <gasps> Had he just let me go? I crumbled to the floor and I gasped for air through a throat still red with his handprint. My tearful eyes caught sight of Sun on Sun, whose hair now shined white brightly. In the depth of those red eyes, there was a faint sign of reason. Son and son, are you back? What? His words weren't re registering in my head. And I could do nothing but look into his eyes. No! At this moment, memories of when I'd first arrived in Kyo and of the Ikidai incident flashed before me. I witnessed so many deaths in this time. I came to terms with the idea that for a member of the Shinsengumi, death is a constant. But never could I imagine taking someone's life. Most of all, son on sons. No, I, I can't. I couldn't do that. I mean, you're still you, son on son. Sonathan shouted at me and grabbed my collar. <laughs> I could see his red eyes flickering. Sonathan struggled with his remaining willpower to fend against the man madness boiling inside of him. <laughs> His right hand slid off my throat, and I felt it land on the hilt of my sword. <gasps> what is he doing? As I stood there confused, Sun and Sun's fingers wrapped around the handle and began to pull. Oh no. No! Too late, I realized what he meant to do, and I felt ice creep up my spine. Son and son, please! You can't! I tried with all of my might to pry his arm away and prevent him from drawing my sword, but... I can't. He spoke in starts and stops now, as tendrils of madness began to pull him under. My sword was now completely drawn, and he pointed it towards his breast over his heart. Sanatsan! Just as the white shining tip of the blade was about to pierce his heart,
Sanansan screamed in anguish, dropping the sword he was gripping. Sanansan! What just happened? <clears throat> when I ran towards him, Sanansan collapsed to the floor. Sanansan! Hang in there! Sanansan! I ran over to him and rushed to check his pulse. He's still breathing. He only lost consciousness. This, all, this alone gave me a great feeling of relief, but suddenly the door behind me slid open. I rushed to look back when... Okita! Sanazan! He's... Okita had a cold expression. His eyes narrowed, and I saw them flick around the room from Sanansan's limp body to myself to the shattered veil. Vial, not veil. Okita's mouth tightened, and he bent down to lift Sanansan off the floor. Uh, after finding that it wasn't life-threatening, I felt a pang of relief. His tone was surprisingly detached considering the circumstances, and Okita picked up Sanansan before leaving the room. Once they left, I collapsed to the floor out of, ex out of supreme exhaustion and slumped into myself. I finally tapped into the secrets of the Shinsengumi. For so long, I was kept, it was kept from me, and now their forbidden secrets were revealed. My mind went blank due to confusion and fear, but I knew what I saw. After Sanansan collapsed, the captains rushed into the room. They must have heard the commotion from the common room. Everything glowed white after, and I realized that I was in a daze. None of the words stuck in my ear, and I wobbled back to my room. Okita had taken me back to my room, and I heard him as soon as he opened the door for me. Okita was never particularly pleasant to me. But his tone was even harsher than usual. I felt like there was someone in the common room. I was curious, so I had a look. I found Sanan Sun in there. Hmm. Okita's lackadaisical response seemed disarming, and he just scanned me. Oh no. Although my mind had cleared somewhat, it was still difficult to keep my thoughts organized. One, however, rose quickly to the surface. Is it true that my father had something to do with that? The stuff that Sanansan drank? Sanansan <laughs> Yes, he said it. Makes you stronger, but it drives you mad. He fixed his eyes wearily on the ceiling above us, sighing before eventually answering my question. Okita's 
殺しちゃいたいところだよ His manner of speaking was far removed than his usual joking self when he mentioned killing. But this time, it felt like he meant it. He could kill me at any time. I desperately searched for the words. Why did the Shinsengumi get involved in something like this? Ah. Among the Ronin, there are plenty that are actually skilled swordsmen. When I was on rounds, I saw many such men fighting and dueling amongst themselves. とにかく人手が足りなくて。僕たちの名前なんて全然知られてないし、給金だってまんぞくに出なかったからさ。入隊希望者なんてめったにいないし、たまに来ても得体の知れないゴロつきばっかり。そんな時、幕府の人が薬
Such a spot so let me head as I walk back to my room. I think we can skip a lot of this. I, uh, yeah. We, Susanna, we've seen this too many times. Oh, wait. No, not that button. Um. Rewind. Sana, Sana and I exchanged a pair of smiles and I held out my hands to let the breeze brush across them. It's really gotten warm lately. Hey. Really? I didn't think the sun was particularly strong that day, but the Sanam-san, who hid in the shadows and out of sight during the day, it must have been unbearable. The night he changed. Sanam-san's hair turned white and in, his, and in his eyes was a thirst for blood. But looking at his peaceful smile now made it hard to imagine such a night was real. If someone told me it was all a bad dream, I would have believed it. It wasn't a dream, though, and now Sanasan spends his days hiding from the sunlight and from others. For just a moment, the sun lit on Sanasan's hair. <laughs> I didn't know if it was a trick of the light or simply my mind being foolish, but in that moment his hair was a brilliant white. どうかしましたか。幽霊でも見るような目つきで人を見るのは良いこととは思いませんよ。あ、いやいや、なんでもない。He looked perfectly normal now, of course. Surely, I thought, I must have simply imagined it. Even if I had, there was no denying that. He was the same man who went mad with bloodlust. The fear of the night cast a shadow over my heart. Okay, now we can skip. Now we can skip. Skip, skip, skip. Cause we'll go make Kaoru again. Ow. I think we can also skip this too. I'll re rewind if there's something else. Yeah, we're skipping, we're skipping. The 
boys are here to save us. Sure. Where's Yamazaki? Because he's. There we go. Y Yamazaki, when did you. Then you're telling me to run away? I mean, he may be right, but I. We'll go back to headquarters. Even as I ran back to the headquarters with Yamazaki, I couldn't shake the fear in my heart. When I finally got to the compounds, I still felt nervous, and I could do nothing but stare into the blank darkness behind me. But... but...俺は副長たちのところへ戻らなくてはならない。皆将軍校の警護に出ているから、今の紛争に大使はほとんど残っていない。沖田さんか東堂さんのところにいるのがいいだろう。そこが最も安全だ。はい。アンダスタッド。では
What do you mean by that? I was in disbelief that he would admit such a thing, so I had to ask. お前は<笑> My heart pounded. I did. あれもさ、元々は幕府の命令なんだよな。近藤さんたちは頑張って実績を積めば、幕府もいずれ認めてくれるって思い込んでるけど。ハスケ。誤解しないでくれよ。俺別に近藤さんや土方さんのやり方に不満があるわけじゃねえんだ。やっぱりあの人たちのことは好きだし、ついて行ってって思ったからこうやって一緒に今日に登ってきたんだし。Heiske's eyes were filled with confusion and pain, and it hurt my heart seeing them. To be in the predic to be in the predicament of not knowing what's right or wrong, and how to confront being loyal to something you don't believe in. So was that why you invited Ito to the Shinsengumi? <laughs> Uh, as any group grows, it must begin to accept people with different viewpoints. Size and human nature simply decrease it cannot be tightly full. Size and human nature simply decrease. It cannot be tightly focused forever. So long as a Shinsengumi fought in the front lines of any war, it would lose friends to death. But how many might it lose, I wondered, to differences of opinion. I did my best to put the thought from my mind. Enjoying the present, don't worry about the future. That was what I truly believed, and I quietly looked up at the starry sky. Since then, once the rest of the men returned, there was a meeting among the captains. The subject of that meeting was the three men at Nijo Castle, Chikage Kazuma, Kyuju Amagiri, and Kyoshiranui. They called them some Steven demons and their previous encounters with the Shinsengumi suggested they were somehow involved with the Satsuma and Choshu. The Satsuma were the most powerful domain in the opposition domain, and the Choshu were publicly expressive of their disdain towards the Shogunate. The Choshu were essentially enemies of the court. I don't know how the three men were supposedly affiliated with the domains, but it was adamantly clear they are not to be dealt with carelessly. There was another problem, however. Why had they come for me? They said I was one of them, and knew about my family name and my Kodachi. But how? My name is Chizuru Yukimura. I am the daughter of my father and my mother. I am a normal girl, nothing out of the ordinary. But who am I?
Are ready for skipping? Because we're going to skip a lot, actually. I'm sorry, we gotta skip the beef kick. We've seen it too many times. たとえ将軍公のご天意を務めておられる方のお言葉といえど大使でもない方に口を差し挟まれる筋合いはありませんそなんぞ。His face was pale as moonlight, as if he was a walking corpse. See, now I gotta stop at all the parts where Sonansan pops up, because I don't know what he's gonna say. Is it okay for you to be up right now? Sonansan. He bowed quickly, his mouth a compressed line, and turned to regard the doctor with a cool gaze. しかし危険だ。あの薬は人が扱えるような代物じゃない。研究は続いています。そして、この私という成功例もあります。Asana-san did indeed prove it was possible to drink the water of life and retain your sanity. It just wasn't easy. 一見平気そうに見えるかもしれんが、体のどこかに相当無理をかけていることも考えられるぞ。私は至って健康ですよ。今後も研究と改良を重ねれば、薬の質が上がるのは明白です。そのために、さらに多くの大使を犠牲にするつもりかね。成功するかどうかもわからん実験に大使を付き合わせるのは生命を冒涜していると
We're minding our business this time. It's not any of our business. And we're skipping this. inside of my head was a swirling mass of questions and doubts, but the one thing that most concerned me was turning humans into demons. I just should I just couldn't shake from my mind the image of the Shinsengumi turning humans into demons even after Kazuma left. Maybe he was referring to the water of life and the furies. Even as the day turned to night, Kazuma's words swirled in my mind, and I couldn't get over them. I returned to my room, lost in thought as I recalled the events of the afternoon. Sonansa? Oh, I'm still awake. I opened the sliding door to see Sonansa standing there with a contemplative expression. Sorry, oh, no. I didn't think anything of it. So, is there something I can help you with? Yes. Mm, and I've been thinking about it all day. Having Sun and Sun come to my room to discuss the afternoon's events was a little intimidating, but I let him in my room and I recounted the story. You think so too, Sonansan? Kodo-san ga mukou ga wa saigoku ni iru to naru to dasetsu no jouhou mo watatte iru no kamo shiremasen. Dasetsu no jijitsu o shitta ue de chukoku shi ni kita no ka. Sore tomo karera no jikken ga susunde iru tame kensei shi ni kita no ka. No problem at all. I'm just happy to help. We didn't seem to figure out why he came, but we agreed to interpret it as a warning. So could Father have been involved in all this? The thought of it made my heart tighten. Learn more? Yes, I do. Well, if that's the case, then could you tell me how my father became involved with these things? Chief Serizawa. So Gondo-san wasn't the chief? Doshigumi Kesseiji niwa Kyokuchou ga san nin ni itan desu. Sono hittou ga Serizawa kamo. Kare wa sobou na furumai mo ouku. Imamo 
そのおかげで老子にもなんとかやっていけていたのですがその逼迫した状況を打開するために彼が幕府と取引したのが落ち水の実験です But... Gondo Sana told me they did it to make up for the lack of reinforcements from the Shogunate. Eh, Umakuikeba, Senyok no Zokyo ni Naruto Yuimidewa, Rinzai Busoko Oninaudo de Shu. So she said, Zawa Kyokchoa, Kono Shin Sengumide, Ochimiz to Rasset no Jikken o Hajimetano des. Sono Tameni, Bakfkara Haken Saretano, Anata no Chichi. Yukimura Kodo san de Shita. Korea, Anata no Shite Mosu. Karea, Serizawa Kyokcho no Mede, Jikken o Kaishi Shimashita. Jikken no Taisho to Natanoa, Okega de Yomega Nai Monoyo. Shizai ni Atai Suru Monoyo. Sono Shito Hikikaini. 承諾したりしたのです。言っておきますが、皆自ら望んで薬を飲んだりですよ。そして、芹沢局長のもと、何度も実験を続けましたが、ほとんどのものが血に狂い、失敗となりました。その失敗となったものをどうしたと思います What did you do? Matashitachi, Mizukara no Tede, Onurimashita. Saimoni wa Serizawa Kyokcho, Mizukara no, Sono Taisho ni Narimashita. Ima no Shin Sengumi to Narumade, Matashitachi wa Nakama o Kuroshi, Chide Chio Arau yo na Jigoku o Mite Kita no des. コードさんは新選組をそんな状況に作っておきながら突然と姿を消しましたあまりにも無責任だと思いませんか私たちが彼を探す理由が分かったでしょうやはり聞かなかった方が良かったですよ、no. I'm the one who asked. Anata, Tsuyoi ko desu ne. I. I don't know why you think I'm strong. Anata wa mada jibun de kizuite inai dake desu. Was such a realization truly possible? I was about to cry, and my heart broke, as if its shards scattered across an unreachable ether. I had no way of convincing myself in this moment or the next that I was strong. Sanan san stood without making a sound, bowed, and disappeared like a shadow. I thought that having answers would help, but learning about the Shinsengumi's morbid past and knowing how much pain they'd endured. Most of all, knowing the extent to which my father was involved in all of this. From then on, Matsumoto visited the compound regularly to check up on the men of the Shinsengumi. Ever since Anansan became the leader of the Furies, the group was named as the Fury Corps. Still, I couldn't help but wonder, was it really all right to continue researching the Furies? My heart was heavy with worry. Without him, the Shinsengumi would be nothing. We would cease to exist. If so, why?
July 1865. Matsumoto-sensei visited the compounds resulted in some interest interesting revelations. Thanks to which I have tapped into the secrets of the water of life and the furies. It was also revealed to me how deeply involved my father was in all of this. A fact that left me desperate to find him and learn more. I recall a peculiar event that occurred one night after Matsumoto-sensei had visited. I shifted positions in bed for the hundredth time. Sleep appeared to be impossible. The rainy season was upon us and the humidity was causing me to be covered in a sheen of sweat and completely uncomfortable. <sighs> Maybe some fresh air will help. I got up and opened the window. Instantly, a cool breeze floated into my room. <sighs> Much better. I stared at a section of the temple compounds, savoring the feeling of air on my hot skin. Shining stars illuminated the view outside of my window, bathing everything in a soft glow. Huh? Out of the corner of my eye, I sent something move. Who would be outside this late? The strange rumors that were floating around among the men suddenly came to mind. All of them. <sighs> All of them made mention of a ghost wandering, wandered, wandering, wandered the entire compound during the night. What? All of them made mention of a ghost wandering the entire compound during the night. Being in a temple, the surroundings were likely filled with some sort of spiritual energy. So there was a reason for concern. But that's not possible, is it? If it wasn't a ghost, then I had just seen a real person. Which might be an even bigger problem. If it was an intruder, then I need to report him. Worried, I clambered out of bed and padded as quietly as possible out of my room. But it's incredibly late. Who should I? The whole compound was sound asleep, and it was a little intimidating to try and wake one of them. I stopped in the darkened hallway to consider my options. Yukimura-kun, <laughs> uh. I spun around at the sound of a voice out of nowhere, my heart hammering in my chest. I'm sorry. あ、あ、Confusion ran through me, but he just smiled. Mm -mm. I'm sorry, I'll be more careful. The smooth, even tone of his voice made me blush. With someone else there, I was now feeling foolish. I lowered my head and mumbled. I just thought I saw some shadows move outside. I was worried it might be an intruder. Uh? If that was true, then... 
But I thought you were forbidden from stepping outside, son and son. Mm. His roundabout way of responding was sometimes hard to follow, but I bolstered my courage and asked a question. So then, you've been ignoring those commands even before tonight? Yeah, I wasn't sure how to answer that exactly. He started my face, gently smiling. うん。それは私のことでしょう。どうにか自重しなければとは何度も思っているのですが。Do you enjoy taking walks? いくら羅折と言えど室内に閉じこもってばかりでは気持ちも塞ぎますそしてもう一つここはお寺です真夜中に幽霊が出てもあまり騒ぎにはならないでしょう I suppose. So he known exactly the reaction he would get from his wanderings from the start. Zanan San, who had become a fury to help the Shinsengumi, was declared dead to protect secrecy. The weight of his secrets must have been unbearable to carry. But he bore his silent burden. Uh, no! I don't think it's that big of a problem. I understand your desire to be free from your confinement, truly. If the rumors of a ghost spread too much, however, there may be an investigation. Um... Just be careful. That's all I wanted to say. My heart ached at the thought of refusing him his walks, and the only moments of freedom he was able to scrounge together in his new life. Eh? <laughs> Thank you for not dismissing me out of hand. He could have completely disregarded my comment, but instead he listened to me, emotions swirling. I bowed to him gratefully. He shook his head. Something about the way he said that made me blurt out a question without thinking. Are you all right, Sanan-san? Sanan-san? Sanan-san. He led the fairy corpse into battle, but he was also continuing his research on the water of life. Both took up all of his time, and he ended up isolated from everyone. Maybe he was even questioning his own existence.
He smiled bitterly, but through his ragged eyes I saw pain. He was wearing himself to nothingness. I had to... Grab his hands. I mentally sighed with relief. It seemed Sanansan had recovered a bit of himself again, and I was glad. Sanansan, can you feel that? Your hands are warm. Blood is pumping through them, just like mine. You may be a fury. But that doesn't mean you aren't alive like the rest of us. Sun on Sun blinked, his eyebrows raising. Rising. There are times when I don't know who I am, too. I knew there were some who claimed that I was a demon like they were. Maybe that meant I was also was a human. But still... Even so... Living is to be alive. I had no doubts. The truth of this mattered was clear to me. Clear to me. A smile stole over Sun and Sun's face. Warmth ever turned to his voice. No trace of his recent harsh and biting ton tongue could be found. It seemed like I was finally seeing the old sun and sun, kind and gentle once more. Ah! <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I keep ordering you around. A genu genuine appreciation from Sun on Sun made my heart warm. I wasn't used to hearing such things from him, so I shook my head embarrassed. <laughs> Sanon-san. Anyway. The words felt as if they held the weight of a vow, and his eyes glittering with determination. I sense he made a serious decision, and he meant to abide by it with every fiber of his being. With Sun and Sun finding some peace, it seemed the rumors of ghosts haunting the compounds faded. At last, after the long while in which I've made his acquaintance, Sun and Sun felt the strength to move forward. After the dust cleared, following the Hamaguri Rebellion, the Shogun set about cleaning house. The Choshu expedition was launched by the Shogun once the Choshu domain was declared enemies of the court. Perhaps feeling they dodged a bullet, the Choshu domain fell silent for a time. Their, oh, their obedience was short-lived, however, and long before their dis dis disrespect for the Shogun began... <laughs> their obedience was short-lived, however. And, long, and before long, the disrespect for the Shogun became impossible to ignore. In order to investigate further, the Shogun decided to send an envoy to the Choshu domain. Kondo-san was asked to accompany an envoy sent to the Choshu to investigate the behavior. However, the Choshu domain refused to even meet with the envoy. Fed up with their insubordination, the Shogun had ordered the second Choshu expedition. However, the war was a costly one, exhausting both the resources and men from all over the domains whose morale began to falter. To add to the fire, 
Word of Shogun Niyamochi's passing shook all of Japan, and some domains even withdrew, which made the situation even dire. The second Choshu expedition had ended in a surprisingly major loss for the Shogunate troops. October 1866 the pillar of the Tokugawa shogunate, which stood strong for 266 years, was beginning to show signs of instability. Ah, we can skip this. This is Sun's introduction, which we've seen, because we always have to see her. I'll ride these two. Our boys. Ah, uh, that's still the same. I lost my mind, but what worried me the most was the Furies. Just as Hijikata-san had predicted, the Shinsengumi received an official request to guard the notice board at the Sanjo Ohashi Bridge. As it turned out, the Vandals were eight men from the Tosa Domain. Harada and his division were well prepared and captured them when they attacked at the Kamo River. Harada was given a reward by the Aizu for his service, and he took the rest of the captains to Shimambara to celebrate. I remained at the temple to eat my dinner alone, but my heart felt like a lead weight in my chest, and it chased away any appetite I might have had. What's going to happen to the Shinsengumi and the Fury Corpse? Almost as if on cue, the door slid open and Sanansan -san stepped through. Oh, hello, Sanansan. -san. Can I help you? Mm, I'm not that great with drinking parties, so... Sanansan -san nodded in understanding, and his eyes beamed with, a color, with color as he gazed at me. The cold full moon was visible, and maybe it was because of the night time, but Sanansan's -san's eyes possessed a tint of danger. そうなんさ。君はどう思っていますか。例の薬。落ち水。What Sanansan's words slithered creepily, and I couldn't bring myself to stop staring at the floor to hide from his line of sight. His expression was so unfamiliar and nefarious, almost as if he was being possessed by something. It was obvious that Sanan -san was not acting as his usual self. Why 
Um, I, I just remember I have some chores that need doing, so I'll be. Just as I was on my way out, he roughly grabbed into my wrists and yanked me. <laughs> I pulled against his grip, but he was far too strong for me to overcome. Please, stop! The horrible twitching madness in his eyes was too much for me and I screamed. On the other side of his glasses, Sanansan's eyes returned to normal. The glint of madness was gone. After, while I felt relieved, Sanansan had walked off as the others were walking in. As I watched him walk off, I looked back at Okita and the men. It's good to see you back. You're a little earlier than I expected, though. I was expecting you guys to come way later. It's only the three of you then? <laughs> What's the matter? キミギク。one of Kyoto's Gegi, huh? She was probably just as beautiful as Heske said. They must have made a beautiful couple. I gazed down at myself, small, plain, and dressed like a boy. Suddenly, I felt very sad. Uh, yeah, none I will, thank you. Saito must have been looking out for me. As Heske began to leave my room, something brought him to an abrupt halt, and he turned to me. The two were silent, restrained by mixed emotions. Eventually, they both left the room. Even the captains who were with the Shinsengumi Sunzato were beginning to grow suspicious of Sun and Sun. I wonder what's going to happen from now on. After that, the rest of the warriors who'd gone to Shimabara returned, and they told me in great detail about the Sanjo notice board incident, but out of everything they I'd heard, there was one thing in particular that caught my attention. They told me that when Harada and his men had been attacked at Sanjo Ohashi, one of them had seen someone who looked a lot like me. This strange person had tried to impede the Shinsengumi, and sided with the vandals from the Tosa domain. I haven't left the temple, of course, and even if I had been a Sanjo Ohashi, I would have never have tried to get in the Shinsengumi's way. But if it wasn't me, then who? What could it mean? This news only fed the anxiety that had been slowly building within me. Mm -hmm. 
December 1866. I was sweeping a section of the compound's desk despite being nearly frozen to the bone. Oh, we've seen this. Yep. And we can just go right through it. Yep. And now, we are done. We got through th three chapters in two hours and 30 minutes, stopping to read and act out the scenes that were new, that we haven't seen before, or that involved Son and Son, because sometimes lines change. Uh, so we're going to save the game. <laughs> can we load it? Yeah, we can. We haven't been here since the 29th. Wow. All right. So, um, yeah, we're done for tonight. We'll come back in maybe Thursday or officially Friday, depending how I feel on Thursday because I have work and how all of that goes. We'll be back either Thursday or Friday to continue Sun on Sun's route in Kyoto Winds. Tonight at 9 p.m. EST, we will be doing more art stream. Um, I don't particularly have a fun piece of art to do. I I could make one in the hours leading up to uh, our fun art stream. Just to have something to take away from the full art. But I also have to draw more full art sketches. So that I can do full art of my characters. <laughs> so, with that, I uh, will uh, say goodbye. Have a nice day. See you next time, and we're out of here. Bye-bye.